Whales, the diverse group of animals that includes the largest creatures alive today, are highly remarkable organisms. The history of their evolution is an incredible story itself, but one of the things they are most famous for is their ability to sing. Whale songs, which can travel very long distances underwater, are some of the most complex and loudest sounds produced by non-human animals. However, the exact reason why certain whales make these sounds is something of a mystery. This video has been made in collaboration with ThingsWeDon'tKnow.com, a science education company that aims to explain the questions that we don't know the answers to yet, encouraging an awareness of current scientific research and helping to identify what areas new discoveries could be made in. With their help, this video will be looking at the mystery of why whales sing. All marine mammals are capable of making sounds, but only a few cetacean species are actually known to sing, most famously including the humpback whale and the blue whale. These two animals are part of the whale group known as baleen whales, however sperm whales, which are members of the other group, known as toothed whales, don't quite sing but do have a language and even accents, which are probably useful for the whales to identify members of their own communities from individuals that are a part of others. So how do baleen whales such as humpbacks actually produce their songs? Well, the process is not entirely clear, but we do have a fairly basic understanding of what goes on. When mammals, such as us humans, produce sounds, it involves a structure called the larynx, which is situated in the throat. Within the larynx there are tissue folds known as vocal cords, and as air moves from the lungs into the mouth, the cords vibrate to produce sound waves. Changes to the shape of the cords and other areas that air passes through can then generate changes in the sounds that are made. The mechanism in toothed whales involves another structure called phonic lips, as well as the melon, which focuses the sounds. However, baleen whales such as the humpback only use the larynx, as they don't possess phonic lips. Within the larynx of these animals, there is a thick fold of tissue that seems to be homologous to the vocal cords of other mammals, called the U-fold. Next to the U-fold is a structure known as a laryngeal sac, a sort of pouch system that can expand and contract. Since baleen whales don't need to exhale to produce sounds like we do, it's therefore thought that the contraction and relaxation of muscles forces air between the lungs and the laryngeal sac, causing the air to pass over the U-fold and make it vibrate to produce sound waves. The laryngeal sac may also change shape to generate different sounds, similar to how our vocalizations work. More study is needed to confirm all this, but it seems likely that this is how some baleen whales can create their iconic songs. So we've looked at the most likely reason for how these animals are able to produce songs, but now comes the part we know much less about. Why do they sing? Let's look at humpback whales in particular. In this species, it's actually only the males that have been observed creating songs. These songs are usually around 20 minutes or less in length, but are then repeated for hours. Male humpbacks will sing at their breeding grounds, competing with the other males that are present, and the patterns of the songs the animals produce are always the same from one breeding season to the next. This has led scientists to consider that the songs are used to attract the attention of female humpbacks, and therefore the sounds can indicate the fitness of the male individuals to the females. It's not entirely clear how a song would be able to signify this, but it seems possible that this is a similar phenomenon to how birds sing to attract the opposite sex. Although, another idea that has been suggested is that the females are not attracted to individual male songs, but rather the multiple males all singing together at the breeding grounds indicates to the females where they are, so they are able to locate each other and begin courting. However, it turns out that during the breeding season is not the only time that male humpbacks will sing. The animals are also known to make similar vocalizations when they're hunting and foraging for food, seeming to suggest that attracting a mate is not the only purpose the songs may serve. A study has recorded instances of whales singing whilst diving to depths of over 100 meters and during periods of feeding lunges. This suggests that the animals potentially engage in mating displays in areas that are worth foraging, and that therefore they may be able to perform breeding activities outside of the traditional breeding grounds. Humpbacks are also known to communicate with other members of their species near the ocean's surface when a group is cooperating to hunt prey, and they might also be cooperating at depth underwater. Far down in the ocean, it gets extremely dark, and so communication by sound becomes increasingly important. When humpbacks get this deep, they are known to produce pulses of sound known as paired bursts, which may have a few different uses. It's possible that the creatures make these noises in order to clear out any potential prey from the sand on the seabed, although they haven't been observed making the pulses when they're alone. They only make them when they are accompanied by others. Research performed on these paired bursts has suggested that the sounds could affect their prey's behaviour in some way. 
or that it's some form of communication with other nearby humpbacks, or maybe it's a combination of both. It could be that the sounds are used in order to lure out the prey and also signal this to the other whales that are all working together. As the sounds have only been recorded when the whales are in groups, it seems fairly likely that they do act as some sort of communication between individuals. However, there are some issues with the way the research on this phenomenon has been performed, with the method that the researchers used not being completely accurate, and so some signals could have been missed. Therefore, the records of it happening may not be totally reliable. As with the mechanism for producing noises in the first place, it seems that more studies are needed before we can be sure about any of the purposes of whale songs and the other sounds they make. So, there are a few ideas as to why whales sing and create other sounds, but clearly more research is necessary in order to more fully understand exactly why these animals are producing songs. It's another fascinating question that we don't yet know the complete answer to. As we mentioned at the beginning, this video has been made with help from Things We Don't Know, a science education company based here in the UK. It is the goal of this organisation to create a place where all the questions that science is still finding answers to can be collected, in order to help increase public awareness of them and to aid researchers in finding topics that are currently being investigated. This place is the website thingswedontknow.com. Here you can find an easily accessible and extensive list of all the scientific mysteries and currently unanswered questions that are being worked on, with links to places that are studying them and references to relevant sites and publications. Things We Don't Know really says it best themselves. There are two distinct aspects to science, learning about what science has discovered and discovering new things. We feel that scientists tend to concentrate on explaining the things we already know, and rarely explain the things we don't. We are dedicated to explaining the questions to which science still seeks answers. I highly recommend that you go and have a look at their website if you haven't already. I'm sure you'll find something there that will interest you, since learning about the things we don't know and the research being done to discover the answers to them is one of the most exciting parts of science. Thank you so much for watching this video, I really hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. If you would like to find out more about our world, its history, and the wonderful life that surrounds us all, please feel free to subscribe to the channel if you think we deserve it, and if you would like to see more from us.